Hey guys, and welcome back to GP Automotive and Diecast. Today I'm going to be doing another unboxing of the 1956 Ford Thunderbird Pink Dream Edition, made by Ravel. So I got this model from eBay for a good $30, and uh, um, I think it was like 17 or something like that, plus, I don't know, 15 or 14 shipping. So very good price. This uh, has its box and everything. Um, very well packaged box, even though the box is tore up. Um, let's see about this. They taped this whole thing up and just sent it down the road. Jeez Louise. So anyway, it's the Pink Dream Edition, and that means that it is the pink... Oh, Jesus, that's so loud. <laughs> it's the pink-colored exterior, and um, maybe we'll see. I wasn't sure with the pictures because they were kind of low quality, but um, possibly this might have the hardtop with it. It also might not either. I, I couldn't tell by the pictures. No, it's, we're almost there, guys. Come on. Yes, there we go. Okay, let's just cut this tape so we can say that's done and done for the rest of ever. Um, let's see. Well, let's just say there's no saving this box, so let's just cut the heck out of it and make it for us. That's an easier time for opening. So it looks like it's wrapped in a bag. Um, so these models tend to go for upwards of fifty dollars usually for the Pink Dream Edition. Um, you know, with the box and everything. So a little bit of money, but I saw this one for a very good price, and I jumped on it. I've always wanted one of these older Thunderbirds. Not specifically a 56, 55, 56. Maisto made one. Ravel made one. Uh, who else? Um, really, a lot of people made this casting back in the day. So there it is. A little bit rough. I will be doing work to this model, which I'm used to, and I enjoy doing work to models. So here it is. 56 Thunderbird. Pink Dream Edition. Ravel Metal, die cast with plastic parts. There you go. This is a very vintage, I guess you could say, old casting. Um, definitely has some age on it, and it shows, but it's still a very nice, cool model. And, uh, well, it's a little more rough than I thought it was. Six Thunderbird. There we go. There's like a little bit of a uh, little writing about the model. Um, so it's dirty. Um, I'll be needing to glue the plastic back up to the uh, base or the or not the base uh, plastic plastic back up to the cardboard with some of my trusty super glue and uh, hopefully that'll work. So I don't know how to open this box. I don't have a. I have one Ravel, and it's a 500 SL, but I don't have any others, so I'm not used to these box boxes. Okay, yeah, this is okay. There it is. It's also mounted the wrong way, and it looks like we do not have the top, which is a little disappointing. Um, but you know, for the price, I got it for uh, just the whole. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be a little difficult, guys, simply for one reason. And that reason is, is that this plastic is falling down, which means that it's going to catch on the cardboard. Let me get it past the cardboard. There we go. 
always sucks when those things get all kind of banged up and it's, uh, it makes getting them out and just the whole situation harder. So as you can, holy moly, that's weak. Um, yeah, this thing is definitely not super strong, but a lot of the structural integrity, it looks like, does um, come from box plastic. So like I said, we'll be getting um, that glued back up and cleaned and uh, make sure there's no smells, if anything. Um, I will get rid of the smells, obviously, because I don't want them infecting any of my other cars. But, uh, yeah, it's a little bit rough of a box, but we'll get it back to a, a reasonable shape. Um, presentable shape, I guess you can say. And speaking of presentable shape, take a look at this. So this is the pink, I was about to say Cadillac. I don't know why I was going to say, why I have a pink Elvis Cadillac. Um, let's fix this. There we go. This door's open, too. There you go. Um... Turn my flashlight on because lighting is on amazing in here. Take a close look and see what she's looking like. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll probably wash it. Probably use my soft bristle brush and some soapy water with you know the uh, um, soapy water and soft bristle brush. Soft bristle brush. Say that ten times fast and just kind of clean it because. It's, it's dirty. It's it's hard to explain. It's it's dusty, but it's also like there there's stuff in the. So I don't know. There's dirt on it. Almost maybe it looks like or something. So uh, first off, I'm gonna get this thing back on its original. We need to switch it around. This is my only screwdriver I have available right now. Luckily, it's up here. So, let's go ahead, oh, well, that sucks, so, uh, these are two different screws, um, that explains why it doesn't fit properly, let's get this first one unscrewed, and also because the base isn't meant to be screwed on with a dead gum flathead. Um, let's search for a screwdriver head real quick. Okay, so we're out of luck. Um, so, let me set you down real quick. take this Thunderbird off the base because I wasn't aware that it was going to have two different screws on it so you know that sucks but um, yeah we won't be able to just flip it around which I thought maybe we could do but no chrome's a little dull got some fingerprints and dust on it if you can tell the base is quite dusty along with the whole car so a little bit of work. I might be buying a parts car, just like I did with some of my other models. And that reason also, being that this one does not have the hard top, which a little disappointing, but nothing too big. And parts cars are cheap. Oh, as cheap as I got this model, I guess. Twenty-something dollars, you can pick one up. And uh, obviously not the pink dream edition, but just a plain uh, one. So get that hard top on and uh, fix the box up, you know, get, like I said, maybe get a parts car for that top, uh, clean the model, clean the base, clean the box, and fix that plastic, because that's really annoying. And my method so far has worked very well with all my other models. I've done it so many times using, uh, I think it's Loctite, Super Blue. I think it's the brand's Loctite, I think. I could be wrong, but... So yeah, so it's a beautiful model. And uh, hood opens. Very neat. And 
doors open too. So very cool model guys and we'll be doing hopefully maybe another video showing you about the hard top and that parts car so then we could do a little bit of a I also need to glue this sticker back down but a little bit of work guys but that's fun and that's what I like doing so uh, put in the comments down below what you think about this model and uh, reveal do you own one of these see put in the comments down below do you own one of these if you don't you know if you do put in the comments down below and if you don't maybe this is your gateway to owning one maybe you you know I don't know. I've seen these before. Ravel, you really got, you know, you kind of got to understand that back in the 90s, which this model was made in the 90s, a lot of these main models and manufacturers kind of shared the, the castings of these models. So they kind of shared, this is really a Maisto or a, you know, Ravel, Maisto. They might be a little bit different, but all in all, they share the same, you know, basic, like the trunk doesn't open on this Ravel model. On the Maisto, the trunk doesn't open either. It's basically the same casting. So, really, it's not... This is a review kind of for Maisto, too, because um, they made this model back in the day. And so did Rode... Did Maisto make it? You know, my, I say Maisto. Scratch that. It's actually Rode Signatures or Rode Legends Yatming. So, um... I don't think Maisto actually made it, so scratch that whole idea. Uh, Maisto did not make this model, um, but Road Signatures, Road Legends, Yatming, that whole franchise did make one of these, and it's essentially the same casting. Back in the 90s, they did that. and Well, it's a good quality casting, nothing crazy, but anyway, this Pink Dream Edition is a pretty cool addition to the collection, and hopefully I will find some parts for that, a um, couple things, and fix the box up, so... If you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing for more content like this. We'll hopefully continue in the future for many years to come. And thank you so much for, well, almost 400, almost 500 subscribers. Let's take a look. It's loading. We've got 442 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for 442 subscribers. And to most people, that's almost nothing. But to me, that's a lot just for the fact of I've gotten some great views on the channel so far. Example is um, the King Daytona, the Dodge Charger King Daytona short, did phenomenal. Thank you so much for watching that great cool car limited edition of uh, Dodge The Last Calls. So very good content and uh, great views um, in the past and uh, some of the recent stuff I've done. So thank you so much for that, and thank you so much for uh, <laughs> can't talk subscribing and watching my videos. And uh, well, yeah, that's about it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. GP out.